Hello, everybody. Happy Friday. It is good to be here with you today. And I try to get on here because I'm seeing and I'm feeling all kinds of things. I'm up, I'm down, I'm scattered, I'm connected, I'm angry and frustrated and feeling inspired and motivated. And sometimes what I'm feeling, I can't really describe. And other times it feels like it's in contradiction to something else I'm feeling as well, or thoughts in my head, or what's going on around me, or what's going on for others. I might feel grateful and blessed because I'm in a good position and then I find out from a friend or a family member or a client that something's not going great for them or I'm reading something about people in New York or like talking to my family in Massachusetts and our circumstances here in Western North Carolina are different and I'm so grateful I live here for so many reasons because I get to have space outside. I get to, um, yeah, go outside versus some places where they don't have that option. Or even if they have the option to go outside, they may not have a space that they want to go spend time with or, you know, that they can't do social distancing, which limits so much of what's going on. So I don't know about you, but feelings and thoughts and feelings around everything that's going on can kind of be like all over the place. And I don't know about you, but I'm going on like day 40 or something like that. I, I lost count um, because Kelly and I started self-isolating before it became mandated because we had traveled out of state and wanted to be sure that in doing that, especially in traveling, in some states that had higher numbers that were being reported, we didn't want to expose anybody. So we've been doing this since early March. And I don't know about you, it's getting old. And, you know, I'm in this place where my business hasn't changed or how I do business hasn't changed so much in that um, I still work from home, which I've been doing for over a year. I still connect with my clients on Zoom. Um, I have new clients starting, so business is good. Um, I'm happy with who I am in isolation with. Um, you know, Kelly and I are having a good time considering everything. Um, I don't know if you can see behind me, you, um, on the door behind me is a balloon and that's what's actually right here. Um, and I've got some coloring on the wall, um, behind my left shoulder. And this is one of the things that I did because it was Kelly's birthday, um, at the beginning of April and we were in obviously isolation. My birthday in the middle of March, we were in isolation and, you know, we're trying to get creative and still make these um, events and these times in our life special. And at the same time, realizing that what, what we're doing is not necessarily what we'd be choosing to do. You know, like today, for instance, I did some reading this morning. I have done some work. I reached out and been connecting with people. I just did some painting. I'm gonna get on a Zoom call here in about 10 minutes um, to see about the possibility of working with somebody. Um, I signed up for an art workshop because I did some art in a workshop earlier. Um, so there's a lot of different things going on. And yet, if this, if I wasn't in isolation, if the trails that I typically hike with the people I typically hike with um, weren't closed, then I would have been out hiking for the day. I would not be doing what I ended up doing. Um, you know, we would have celebrated my birthday um, out with friends and family. We would have celebrated my wife's birthday out with friends and family. There would be different things that we would be engaged in. 
I don't know if you hear that background noise, but my dog is dreaming. Um, so he's making a lot of noise over here. Um, so I wanted to get on here because whatever you're feeling is okay. It's time to give yourself permission to experience it and express it. You know, I think last week or the week before, I did a video about letting your anger out. Monday, I know in my group I did a video about anger and wanting to scream and kind of like rip my hair out because of the state that I was in. And I allowed myself to vent. I allowed myself avenues um, and ways of moving those emotions through. And, you know, sometimes it's crying. Sometimes it is screaming or yelling or making sounds, ah, you know. Um, and sometimes I feel a little goofy being in the middle of my living room or going out in my backyard, um, stamping my feet, whatever the case might be. But I know how important it is to move those emotions out. Um, some people are journaling. The art workshop or the art webinar I did um, with a woman here in Asheville, but she did it through Zoom, um, Elizabeth Foley. It's excellent because um, I've done things with her before, but today, I don't know if you can see that. I, always, I don't ever do this really well. Um, but she walked us through a process of expressing our emotions and being creative with it and giving ourselves permission to express them and feel them and with no judgment. And that is huge right now. So with all of that being said, give yourself the time, give yourself the space to express your emotions and don't take on, how do I want to say this? Yes, your circumstances are different than others. Even the people you know, love, and trust, your circumstances are different. How you are perceiving it and understanding it and feeling it in your body is going to be different than your best friend or a family member or a colleague a spouse. It's going to be different. How I'm feeling on a given day may be different than Kelly's feeling on a given day. Sometimes it's similar, but not always. And, you know, there's been things that I've seen that were contributing to me being aggravated and angry um, on Monday where, you know, I'm seeing comments that say, well, if I can do it, so-and-so can do it, or everybody can do it if I can do it. And not for nothing, but no. Just because a circumstance is one way for you does not mean it's that way for somebody else. And, you know, my circumstance is different than somebody, for instance, in New York City. But does that mean that I can't enjoy my day or enjoy my time, especially outside, which some people may not have access to? No. But I can have some empathy and compassion and not... Yeah, I can be, I can remind myself that what somebody else is experiencing may be different than myself. So what I want to know, I guess that was a bit of a soapbox. What I want to know is what are you doing to express your emotions? What are you doing to give yourself permission to move these emotions out and through whatever they might be? Now I shared you um, with you some of mine. Sometimes I go outside and yell, stamp my feet. I might hug a tree. I might get do a d spontaneous dance party where I'm turning on music. And of course, what music I'm turning on depends on what I'm feeling or the direction that I want to move in my feelings. Of course, I just showed you my art journal. Um, and if you're thinking like, oh, I'm not creative. I mean, I'm talking simple. This was about emotions and I've got emoji type drawings and things from magazines. Um, I might talk to Kelly or a friend, um, whether it's on a phone or on Zoom. And 
The key is to give yourself the time and space and yeah, allow it, allow it to flow. I want to know, I want to know how you're doing. I want to know what creative ways um, or creative things that you're discovering in this process as far as um, feeling and expressing your emotions. And yeah, I want to know what's going on for you. All right, everyone. I'm sending you lots of love. And of course, all things. Well, you know what? I want to add. If you're feeling alone, because I, I talked to a number of people today and as the time of this drags on, sometimes it feels harder and harder, um, especially if you're already feeling like isolated or um, maybe you live alone or, you know, your family lives somewhere else, whatever the case might be. Know that I'm available. You can always reach out to me and I'll post in the comments a couple of events that I have going on that you can join for free to be connected, to not feel isolated and separate from others. And also, if you just need to connect, we can schedule a time to do just that. I'll post those in the comments. All right, everyone. Happy Friday. Again, sending love. And of course, all things fucking fantastic. Till we connect again. Mwah.